In relation to the dress code, there's one very beautiful term that has been coined by Allah the Almighty within the Holy Quran, and that's of libas taqwa That's a common dress code for all Muslims, men and women. libas taqwa means to adopt the garb of righteousness. So that's a common dress code for all Muslims and all believers in reality. And also the Holy Quran goes as far as to say that sibghat Allah, that one should color themselves in the shades and hues of God Almighty's divine attributes. And one thing to also remember is that the Holy Prophet وسلم, has stated, Inna Allaha la yanzuru ila suwarikum wa amwalikum. That is that God Almighty does not look towards your outward appearance, towards your wealth. Walakin yanzuru ila qulubikum wa amalikum. But God Almighty looks towards your heart and your deeds. So this is the main thing. Growing a beard, dressing in a certain manner, these are all secondary things. Of course, some people desire to express their love for the Holy Prophet وسلم, in, in different manners. And we know that the promised Messiah, peace be upon him, was questioned once about the beard. And he said that if a person loves the Holy Prophet وسلم, then he will grow a beard. Whether a person grows their beard long or short, that's up to them. These are individual cases and it's not that Islam is in the beard, as, as the fourth caliph said, that yes, the beard w is within the religion of Islam, but it's not the be all and end all. These various different dresses that we have, I mean, it's, these are all secondary things. As I mentioned, the main crux of the argument is that a believer, a Muslim man and woman, they should adopt the garb of righteousness. That's the common dress code within Islam.